651 here on your Friday morning. You may remember his 630 mile walk across Montana on his campaign trail for Senate back in 1974. Now, after almost 40 years in politics, Max Baucus is back in Montana. MTN's Caitlin Corbett tells us why he was at MSU last night. I'm here outside of the Student Union Building on the Montana State University campus where former U.S. Senator and U.S. Ambassador to China, Max Baucus, paid a visit to the university. The former Senator and Ambassador reflected on his time spent in years of public service and what it means for him to return to Montana. Public service has kind of been my calling. Elected to the Senate in 1978, where he remained until 2014, and appointed U.S. Ambassador to China by President Obama in 2013, Max Baucus's political career has spanned more than 40 years. The longest serving senator in Montana served as the chairman of the Senate Committee on Finance and played a major role in passing the health care reform bill during the Obama administration. He grew up on a ranch in Helena, and now Baucus has finally come home to his roots to enjoy retirement. But it feels so good to finally be rooted in one spot and not Washington, D.C. or in Beijing, but be here at home. So we want you to know how happy we are to be here. Baca sat in front of a crowd of more than 100 people in the MSU Student Union Ballroom, answering questions on politics, presidents, and public service. I love it. I have no regrets. It's, yeah, I think the most noble human endeavor is service. <coughs> service to church, synagogue, community, friends, family, service. And our public service. It's just those who are serving others, I think, are more rewarded. The talk lasted for about 90 minutes, with Bacchus sharing some memories of the seven different presidents he served over the course of 40 years, including President Ronald Reagan. And I, said, I started out by saying something pretty lame, like, well, Mr. President, as you know, Montana borders Canada. <laughs> Hey, it's Montana, he said. My favorite film was Cala Queen of Montana. <laughs> Reporting in Bozeman, Caitlin Corbett, MTN News.